Hey everybody, welcome to Cara's Cucina, YouTube's first and only Emmy-nominated cooking show. I'm Cara DeFalco, and today I'm gonna show you a really easy app that you can make for game day or any day, anytime you're having a party. We're gonna be making baked brie. Depending on your definition of cooking, this is not actually cooking, at least not to me. This is more like preparing, so this is really kind of a semi-homemade sort of thing, but it's something that I've often brought to parties uh, and different gatherings. My friends all love it. It's really, really easy to do, which is why I just wanted to share it with you guys. So basically, I like to use um, puff pastry. I do not make my own puff pastry. I buy the frozen one. It just defrosts on the counter for 40 minutes, and then we're gonna roll it out. Um, I've got a wheel of brie, French brie, whatever kind you like. And then I like to use some jam with this as well. So today I'm gonna be using a fig jam. It's literally whatever jelly I have in the fridge that we're also using for sandwiches or whatever. So it can be strawberry, grape, raspberry, whatever you like, um, as always. And of course, I just have a little bit of flour to help kind of get everything uh, softened and settled here as far as the puff pastry goes. Oven is gonna be preheating to 350 degrees and I already have my cookie sheet lined with some foil for myself. So we just wanna kind of get our puff pastry prepped here. And the thing with the store butt one, the frozen one, is you just wanna watch the seams where it was folded over. Those tend to be the places where the holes show up. But for the most part, it's pretty easy to work with as long as you have plenty of flour down. I'm gonna give myself a little more space here. And we just wanna roll it out a little bit because it's gotta completely cover the wheel of cheese. So we do wanna give ourselves some space to work with. So again, we just wanna make sure nothing's stuck here. I see a little thin spot again. Sometimes those creases can be tough. And I know people do this with all different kinds of dough. You can do it with pie crust dough. You can do it with crescent dough. You can do it with pretty much anything. I happen to like the puff pastry because I know that a lot of people like to eat this with crackers and then I feel like it's not quite so much bread all in one bite um, because the puff pastry is nice and light. Space. Okay, and now let's see. I think we can get our brie on there. And I just, yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough space. So I kind of like to gather it all up and kind of make it look like a little purse or a little bag. But before we do that, we wanna add, I put the, the jam right on top of the cheese so that it all bakes together. And this way, with every slice, you kind of have this really um, delicious mixture of cheese and jam and the dough. And again, you can use whatever flavor of jelly or jam that you like. This one happens to be fig. Spread it over the top. You could also use some raw nuts if you wanted to. You could chop up some walnuts and put that, them on top of this, um, or some almonds, and they would go really well with this also. So again, as always, it's whatever you guys like. Whatever you think your guests are gonna like, go with that. in the middle here. And now again, so I'm just gonna kind of gather up the dough around this. I might kind of fold this over a bit. So that's really big. So I'll leave that first one there, but I'm gonna take a knife and trim some of this. Okay, actually made it too big, so we had to trim quite a bit, but here we go. Can kind of give this a little twist. Open this up a little bit, and what I think I might do with some of this these skinny pieces that I trimmed off is actually cut this in half again. I love playing with dough. Okay, so if you have the patience, you can put a little design on it too. But that's pretty much it. Just want to make sure it's nicely sealed up. 
no holes, and this is gonna go right onto our cookie sheet and into the oven. Should only take about 15 minutes, and we're really just looking for the puff pastry to cook through and start to brown up. Serve your baked brie hot out of the oven with some crackers or crostini or as part of a charcuterie board. I assure you, your guests and your friends are absolutely gonna love it. You can find this recipe at caradefalco.com. You can find me at Cara DeFalco, Facebook and Instagram. Follow all of my foodie adventures. Always know what's coming up in the Cucina as well as what's going on. We're doing live events, hands-on cooking classes. We're doing the tour of Italy, so be sure to uh, check that all out. You can also subscribe for emails. Those folks are always among the first to know as well. I will see you guys next time. Bon appetit.